<laughs> yes! <laughs> What's up, family? Happy Halloween Eve Eve! Yes! I know my music sounds a little different because I'm actually playing it off my laptop. I am not home, as you can see. Yes! <laughs> Is that Jay? Is that Jay? Yes. <laughs> Happy Friday, kids. Happy Halloween Eve, Eve. I just wanted to come on really, really quickly and just give some quick shout outs just to say hi, keep things popping, let you know that I have not stopped doing my lives. I am fixing my wig and I am looking forward to having more guests coming up in November. So I hope you guys are doing good. Yes. <laughs> Oh wait, I have a question in the room. Let me find out. Is that a question? I can't, I can't, uh, I can't see. <laughs> but anyway, all good. Wait, I think I have a question. What is going on? I can't comment for some reason. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. All good. Yes. Um... So let me turn down my music a little bit. I'm sorry, my thing is shaking. Everything is crazy. I'll keep it going in the background, just slightly. Yeah. So happy, happy Friday, everyone. Happy Halloween Eve, Eve. This is Danny G live, coming in from Jersey City, and I am in my my disco garb because I am going to a Halloween party in Lower Manhattan and I'm super excited because it is actually, I love my life. I, I, I don't even understand my life sometimes, but the party is actually um, Bette Midler's um, Halloween. And it's, you know, the fundraiser for her, um, her restoration foundation that she raises money for to keep, you know, New York beautiful and our parks and all of it. So yes, I am going. Okay, kids, I am going as the guest of the surviving diva herself, Miss Gloria Gaynor, <laughs> the disco legend queen. I am going, my former boss lady as well, I am going as one of her guests, and I'm super excited about that, and it's, such, it's so much fun. Hey, Nakumi, I'm in my Halloween disco outfit. Hey, <laughs> Dewan. So this is my Halloween get up. I put it all together. This, this is my little Amazon wig that I was talking about. So I'm hoping I don't I look a little bit better than Art Garfunkel. So yes, I was just say, explaining that I am going to Halloween, um, hosted by Bette Midler. And Gloria Gaynor is the um, headliner for the event. And so I'm going as her guest, the disco queen herself. So the theme for tonight is disco. So, you know, I'm... I'm trying my best here, kids. I'm trying my best here. And so I just wanted to pop on and say, um, you know, what's up? My Daniel D lives have not gone anywhere. Hey, Kate, you like my Afro girl? Yes. I actually wish my hair could do this. My hair will not do this. But I really wish, I've, I've, I really covet and I'm so jealous of people that have dope Afros because I've always wanted to have an Afro. Um, so yeah, so I have some great stuff coming up in November. Actually, I'm, I wanted to come on. Thank you, sweetheart. I wanted to come on because next Friday, I've been promoting it. I will be down in Philadelphia for a hosting, co-hosting a fundraiser um, in honor of my former dance company, Philodanko. And so I just wanted to throw up the flyer um, just so you guys can see. But I've been posting about it for the last couple of weeks. And it's also... We're going to be selling art pieces. Um, oh, happy early birthday. <laughs> yes, Scorpio season. And so people have donated their artwork to this cause. And all the proceeds, you know, the purchase of the artwork, as well as tickets, go to raise funds for Philodanko. And um, my good dear friend Zane Booker asked me, also a former dancer with Philodanko, um, Netherlands Dance Theater, and on and on. He asked me to come down and co-host the event. And so, you know, I'm really enjoying this co-hosting, this hosting life of mine that I've sort of brokered since COVID. Okay. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it 100%. So all my Philly peeps, please, if you're around next Friday, starting at 630, um, the address is on the flyer. I'll, uh, it's in my, the link is on my bio uh, for the, for the event. And yes, 
artists. I will be down there with the artist Spencer Michaels. We'll be co-hosting the event, DJ Reezy. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're in Philly, come through. If you're not in Philly and just want to watch it virtually, there's an option to buy a ticket to watch virtually. And again, the proceeds go to support the great dance company, Philodanko, um, an American treasure. And one of, you know, the top five, hey, um, black legendary dance companies of America. So we have to support them as they transition with a new leadership, new artistic director and all of these things. Yes, I'm in my disco mode. Yes. Hey, Chris Novels. So let me get out of this. So this is next Friday, but also really quickly. I went with some of my friends last night, honey, kids. <laughs> this wig is making me act up. Um, I went with some of my friends, my dear Dewan and Monique and Dewan's sister Monica flew in and we got to see the Tina musical, uh, Miss Adrian Warren. Okay. I'm sure the woman coming in after her is, you know, fabulous, but I'm so glad that I got to see Adrian Warren before she leaves the show, which is her last show is coming Sunday, Halloween. So big ups to Adrian Warren, Daniel Watts, you know, the entire creative team. Great show. A lot of fun. Of course, she sings all her hits. Um, and Adrian Warren is just spectacular. She earned that Tony kid. She earned that Tony. Anyway, so I don't want to stay on too long because I've gotten to get into the city and I think there's some rain coming. So if you're out and about tonight doing your Halloween things or just your Friday things, uh, be careful. There's going to be, now I'm, now I'm the weather girl. There's Okay, right. Yes, bracelet. Yes, bracelet. There's going to be some uh, gusty winds and heavy downpours at some point. So Hopefully my afro won't get too soaked. Uh, but again, yes, I am excited to be going to Bette Midler's um, Halloween for the very first time and excited to see what um, that's all about. And also a little special treat. My boo cat is working the gang, honey. Audio king. So um, yeah, he's part of the production team on this. And so it's really exciting. And I'm going to get to see a lot of uh, friends and family. So that's that. And also don't forget, um, in just over two weeks, complex. Hey, Ronald Alexander, Complexions Contemporary Ballet at the Joyce for two weeks. They're back, kids. They're back. This is one of my favorite dance companies, run by two of my longtime dear friends. We used to dance together in Alvin Ailey, Desmond Richardson, and Dwight Roden. They've got several new glorious, gorgeous dancers. Um, and they'll be premiering a new ballet called. <laughs> I would take so many pictures and videotape. Oh, I hope. I hope we can videotape. We'll see. I don't. I don't know what the rules are. I don't usually go to big events like this with this magnitude. So I don't know what the rules are. They might take my phone, Chris. Um, yeah. So Complexions Ballet. All these links are in my bio. Please go to my link tree. Um, buy tickets. Support these companies. Even if you're nervous to go back into the theaters, even though they're checking, you know, your vaccination cards and blah blah blah. You know, just buy a ticket. Support however you can support. So. Anyway, kids, I am going to finish getting myself together. Unless anybody wants to come in real quick and say a little holiday, hey, hey, a <laughs> videotape. Yes. So me and my Afro are going to continue to get picked out. And um, yes, I would try to post some photos. So just wanted to jump on, say happy Friday, happy Halloween Eve, Eve. Be safe in these streets. I think the Halloween parade, the New York City Halloween parade is happening again on Sunday. The weather looks really good. So whatever you do, be safe. Um, yeah. Oh, the thing about next Friday, what I forgot to mention. My Dana G Live next Friday in Philadelphia. I will be live streaming in all location, kids. <laughs> all location in Philadelphia. I'm going to be interviewing some of the artists that have donated their works to support Philodanko. So it's going to be really interesting. My first time doing it that way and, and live. So we'll be set up there in Philly in a corner somewhere, hopefully with good lighting. Okay. Cause you know, the doll, but, um, yeah, so I'll be interviewing people at the event and IG living from location in Philadelphia. Yeah. The girl's growing up. The girl is growing up. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for always tuning in. This was a short one, but I had to just jump on just to keep the momentum going because these Danny G lives are going to keep going. I've gotten some other hosting opportunities that are coming up that I'm waiting to confirm and I'll be able to tell you guys about that very soon. So good stuff coming up. Exciting times. So love you guys. Have a great weekend. I am off to get my disco on. The first time I was afraid. I was petrified, right? 
All right, <laughs> enough of that. All right, guys, have a great weekend and support the arts. Hey, Jeremy, and just be safe out in these streets. Love each other, be kind, and I will see you out, out and about. <laughs> Bye, take care.